Today we will discuss the proper procedure for adjusting the precharge on our DET and PLT potable expansion tanks. These tanks come precharged from the factory at 20 PSI. However, it's very important that the precharge be adjusted prior to installation. Too low of a precharge will result in premature tank failure. Too high of a precharge will result in inadequate protection from thermal expansion. The precharge should match the water pressure inside the building. To determine the water pressure inside the building, we suggest that you use the Watts IWTG gauge. This gauge can be connected to a wash machine connection, an outside water spigot, or any convenient drain inside the plumbing system. Simply install the gauge, open the drain or open the valve, and read the pressure on the gauge. Once the pressure is determined, in this case, let's assume it's 55 PSI, we will need to increase the precharge of this tank from 20 PSI to 55 PSI. We can use any standard tire pump to do this, whether it be a hand pump or an electric pump. In this case, we're going to increase the charge from 20 PSI to 55. Once we have pumped up the precharge, we can check it with our air pressure gauge and make sure that it matches our water pressure inside of the building. Once the tank's precharge is adjusted to match the water pressure inside the building, the tank can be installed and placed in service. We also recommend that once a year the precharge on the tank be tested. The proper procedure for doing this is to isolate the wet side of the expansion tank diaphragm from pressure in the plumbing system. This can be done by turning off the water main and opening a faucet. Once the pressure is relieved off the top of the diaphragm, the precharge can be accurately checked and adjusted as needed. For additional information on this procedure, please refer to the instruction sheet included with the tank. The instruction sheet is also available online at www.watts.com.